at 157 for the Spartans. It's Jake Tucker, the redshirt freshman, 16 and 12 on the year from Lowell, Indiana. So the only hometown kid on the roster from the state of Indiana. And on the other side, it's Griffin Perriott, a redshirt freshman, 11 and nine from New Prague, Minnesota. And as we mentioned earlier, Hunter mentioned Griffin, his first match back after a short leave of absence due to injury. It's good to see him back in that black and gold singlet out there on the mat for the Boilermakers. I know he's been deeply missed, but while he's been gone, as we mentioned earlier, Cole Isaki has really, he filled in and did a nice job, 12 and 14 on the year. The redshirt sophomore, two really young guys at that 157 weight class who've both shown some strengths throughout the year. Yeah, and Jake Tucker coming into today, 0 and 4 in his last four, two of those being falls, one of them being a tech fall. So he's looking to get back into the win column here against Griffin Perriott, who, as you mentioned, we haven't seen in a little while. This is a rematch between these two as they met at the Cliff Keen Invitational. Perriott lost that one to Tucker by a score of eight to three. So a, a chance for redemption and some revenge tonight for Griffin Perriott. And I think with this match, Perriott's just looking to get back into the swing of things just a yeah. little bit. And obviously he's been training very hard in the wrestling room doing everything that he can, but he yep. has to be sure that he gets back on track here, especially with some big matches coming up and even big tens coming up, that you need to get your head right into a good space heading into those matches. You can't, not, not having as many wins on your record, you have to get back into the win column and start racking those up. A very tall individual is Jake Tucker. Those long legs that we see out of a couple Boilermaker wrestlers, he's got them over on the other side for the Spartans and as we saw with the 133 for Michigan State, Logan Griffin earlier in his first match, it's hard to keep the fatigue as a nice job there for Perriott to get the two point takedown and kind of roll through and get the advantage after what looked to be a very tough situation. And very interesting decision by the referee. He gave two point takedown yeah, and the did. two point near fall as they were very close to out of bounds. Almost close to touching that uh, scores table there over there, but he said Perriott kept that foot in as we talked on previous broadcasts. It's a lot like football, right? You keep that toe in bounds and we're going to continue to wrestle. That's all you have to do is just keep a toe in bounds. But I was saying, Logan Griffin, he got a little bit tired at the end of his match earlier on in his first match back, or his first match of the season. So to get those four points here in the first period for Perriott kind of gives him a little cushion here as we move on in the match where he might start to get a little fatigued. Yeah, I mean, that's very important to come out and get a lead in this first period, as we've seen him do. I think he'd like to get like to get a couple more near fall points here before we end the first period. Fifteen seconds remaining. An opportunity here for Tucker to get out, but Perriott sends him flying out of bounds. So with 13 seconds left, both wrestlers take a quick glance over at the clock. Tucker will start down here to end the first period. Looking to maybe get that one point here on the escape before that buzzer sounds and to try to get on the board. Great job by Perriott stepping through there and going for the trip, putting it, putting Tucker back on the map. Perriott does the exact same thing. He goes for the trip, but this time was unable to keep a hold of him. So with three seconds remaining, Tucker is able to slip out. He did exactly what you said once again, but this time just couldn't hold on. And it's very tough to do, especially when you go hard down to the mat. Tucker rolls a little bit to get out of that. Very tough to, to keep track of. Perriott's decision, yep. he's gonna defer. So Tucker decides to start down here, trailing four to one. Tucker's set, Perriott's gonna come in from the left side. Tucker does a really nice job immediately trying to get to his feet, sticking with that base. What has been a very impressive attempt so far to get out. Stalling warning given to Perriott as the referee says he kind of rode him out of bounds. And because of that, Coach Ursuline's gonna go and get a clarification on what exactly the stalling warning was given for. Yeah, he's going to get a very quick clarification and then the referee says if you'd like to look into it more, you're gonna have to challenge. 
So he gets his quick explanation. I don't think he's pleased with what he heard, but I don't think that was the point. So with the score four to one, Tucker still remains on bottom. Perriot does have that stalling warning now next to him, and this time he kind of lets him up and out as Tucker does another great job of quickly getting to his feet, and Perriot knew it was going to be hard to get him back down to the mat again. Yeah, situations like that, you know, you don't want to fight too hard. To You're up four to two. You give up that one escape point, you get back on offense. Yeah. If that, if that point doesn't matter, there's no point in really struggling to get to keep them down. Right. As it, you're just wasting time. Yeah. And I've seen referees call call a, a stalling in those situations of guys that lock hands or they, they're locked up behind trying to get, get them back down onto the mat and they're not really doing a whole just lot hold besides them holding them. Mm -hmm. So the referee is not to call a stall not afraid to call stalling in those situations. Another reason with that warning already given, a smart move and a savvy move from only the red shirt freshman. See him continuing to push down on the head of Tucker, trying to get that tall body back down to his height. Yeah, I think Tucker has a good two inches at least yeah. on Perriot. These, this weight class, the 57 and the 65, we see a lot of height in those weight classes. Guys with very long legs. Tucker weighed in at 156.7 today. Perriot at 156.9. So at the end of the second period, it's 42 in favor of Perriot. He also gets the decision after deferring in the second period. He's going to decide to go neutral here to start the third, what I think is a really smart move because Tucker really hasn't been able to show any real neutral offense so far as most of his work has come escaping out. Obviously, Peria in control of this match. He's got a minute 13 of riding time. He's already up four to two. So Tucker's the one that is in, in the position to be offensive. I haven't seen, seen that out of him yet in this third period. Just over a minute remaining. Minute and 13 in favor of Peria in riding time. So if he can continue to wrestle neutral, he will add on another point at the end of this match, given it goes the distance. It almost looks like the headgear of Perriot is covering his eyes completely. Kind of surprised he's able to see and hasn't moved that away. It's just stalling penalty against Perriot. So very interesting situation this here. This got really interesting. You still got that one point of riding time in favor of Perriot with 27 seconds left, but a takedown here could send us to another sudden victory. But before that could happen, Tucker's got to get a takedown, and with only 18 seconds remaining, he's got to go now as Michigan State's bench is trying to get another stalling call against Perriot. Shot there by Tucker, fought off. Seven seconds remaining. And with the time running out, Griffin Perriot in his first match back gives a thumbs up to the Holloway faithful for the Purdue Boilermakers and he gets the five to three win and increases the overall team score to 28 to six in favor of Purdue. Hunter, let's take one more look at that takedown. Look at him, keep those feet in bounds for the Boilermakers. Yeah, and getting those two-point near fall, very impressive by him. 